In this lab setup, we are using glucose test strips, which are the indicator to test for the presence of simple sugars or simple carbohydrates. We're going to test for the presence of simple sugars or simple carbohydrates in apple juice. The control today is going to be water. So here we see the water in the test tube and I have the apple juice in this test tube. If there are simple sugars or simple carbs present in the apple juice, then the indicator, okay, these are our indicators. So this is a glucose test strip. Um, right now they haven't been used, but in this case, with the water, our control group, if, we, if there are no sugars present in the water, then the glucose test strip will stay the same. If there are simple sugars in the apple juice, then the glucose test strip is going to turn dark brown. So here, here's the information that you need to write down on your paper. So our indicator for simple sugars, the macromolecule for simple sugars, is a glucose test strip. If the food source that we're testing is negative, then the indicator will remain blue or turquoise. If the test is positive for simple sugars, the test strip will turn dark brown. Let's test. Let's test first in our water. Okay, okay so far I don't see a color change. It's still that same blue turquoise color. And let's now test for glucose, simple sugar, and apple juice. Okay, as you can see already, it's changing color. And if we take a look on the back of our test strip bottle, um, it, it lets us know the amount of glucose that's present. So we'll just take our test strip and compare it to the bottle. So in this case here, there's a lot of simple sugars there. The test strip turned dark brown. So our apple juice tested positive for simple sugars and our water, which is our control group, tested negative. The test strip remained the same and it's still this blue turquoise color.